Chapter 19 And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, this is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak Fento, the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and fawn which nor came yoke. And ye shall jew her Vento Elizur, the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Elizur, the priest, shall take of her blood with his finger and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation soon times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin, and her flesh, and her blood, with her down shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood, and high soap, and scarlet, and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, and he shall bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp, and the priest shall clean till the yoon. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water, and then bathe his flesh in water, and shall be clean till the yoon. And a man that is clean shall gather vp the ashes of the heifer, and lay them vp without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel, for a water of separation, it is a purification for sin. And he that gathereth the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes, and be clean till the ewing, and it shall be vento the children of Israel, and vento the stranger that soareneth among them, for a statute for ewer. He that toucheth the dead body of any man, shall be even clean suin days. He shall purify himself with it on the third day, and on the suin day he shall be clean. But if he purify not himself the third day, then the suin day he shall not be clean. Whosoe'er toucheth the dead body of any man that is dead, and purifieth not himself, defileth the tabernacle of the Lord, and that Saul shall be cut off from Israel, because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be even clean. His uncleanness is yet fond him. This is the law. When a man dieth in a tent, all that come into the tent, and all that is in the tent, shall be clean suin days. And Uri open vessel which hath no curring bound fon it, is unclean. And whosoe'er toucheth one that is slain with a sword in the open fields, or a dead body, or a bone of a man, or a grow, shall be clean suin days. And for an unclean person, they shall take of the ashes of the burnt heifer of purification for sin, and running water shall be put trado in a vessel. And a clean person shall take his ip, and dip it in the water, and sprinkle it fon the tent, and fon all the vessels, and fon the persons that were there, and fon him that touched a bone, or one slain, or one dead, or a grow. And the clean person shall sprinkle fon the clean on the third day, and on the seventh day and on the seventh day he shall purify himself, and wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and shall be clean at Ewan. But the man that shall be even clean, and shall not purify himself, that Saul shall be cut off from among the congregation, because he hath defiled the sanctuary of the Lord. The water of separation hath not been sprinkled upon him. He is unclean, and it shall be a perpetual statute unto them, that he that sprinkleth the water of separation shall wash his clothes, and he that toucheth the water of separation, shall be even clean until you in. And whatsoe'er the clean person toucheth, shall be even clean, and the sow that toucheth it, shall be even clean until you in. Chapter 20 Then came the children of Israel, you and the whole congregation, into the desert of Sin. In the first month, and the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam died there, and was buried there. And there was no water for the congregation, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. And the people chode with Moses, and spake, saying, Would God that we had died when our brethren died before the Lord. And why how ye brought VP the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness, that we and our cattel should die there? And wherefore how ye made verses to come VP out of Egypt, to bring verses in Vento this yule place? 
It is no place of seed, or of figs, or vines, or of pomegranates, neither is there any water to drink. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly, and told the dory of the tabernacle of the congregation. And they fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak even to the rock before their eyes, and it shall do forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt chew the congregation, and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord, as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lift Phoebe his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I how Jew in them. This is the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel strow with the Lord, and he was sanctified in them. And Moses sent messengers from Kadesh, and told the king of Edom, Thus saith thy brother Israel, Thou knowest all the trowail that hath befallen Versus, how our fathers went down into Egypt, and we how dwelt in Egypt a long time, and the Egyptians vexed Versus, and our fathers. And when we cried unto the Lord, he heard our voice and sent an angel, and hath brought verses forth out of Egypt, and behold, we are in Kadesh, a city in the fairmost of thy border. Let verses pass a, I pray thee, Thora thy country, we will not pass a Thora the fields, or Thora the unyards, neither will we drink of the water of the wells, we will go by the king's highway, we will not turn to the right hand nor to the left, until we how pass thy borders. And Adam said unto him, Thou shalt not pass a by me, lest I come out against thee with the sword. And the children of Israel said unto him, We will go by the highway, and if I and Micah tell drink of thy water, then I will pay for it. I will only, without doing anything else, go thorough on my feet. And he said, Thou shalt not go thorough. And Edom came out against him with much people, and with a strong hand. Thus Edom refused to Jew Israel passage thorough his border, wherefore Israel turned away from him. And the children of Israel, you and the whole congregation, you are need from Kadesh, and came then to Mount Hor. And the Lord spake then to Moses and Aaron in Mount Hor, by the coast of the land of Edom, saying, Aaron shall be gathered then to his people, for he shall not enter into the land which I how Jew and then to the children of Israel, because he rebelled against my word at the water of Meribah. Take Aaron, and Eleazar his son, and bring them VP to Mount Hor. And strip Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son, and Aaron shall be gathered to his people, and shall die there. And Moses did as the Lord commanded, and they went VP into Mount Hor, in the sight of all the congregation. And Moses stripped Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son. And Aaron died there in the top of the mount, and Moses and Eleazar came down from the mount. And when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead, they mourned for Aaron thirty days, you and all the house of Israel. Chapter 21 And when King Rad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south, heard tell that Israel came by the way of the spies, then he fought against Israel, and took some of them prisoners. And Israel vowed a vow unto the Lord, and said, If thou wilt indeed deliver this people into my hand, then I will surely destroy their cities. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of Israel, and delivered Vipi the Canaanites, and they surely destroyed them and their cities, and he called the name of the place Horma. And they yearned from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea, to compass the land of Edom, and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God and against Moses, wherefore how ye brought verses VP out of Egypt, to die in the wilderness. 
for there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our cell loatheth this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses, and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord, and against thee, prave unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from verses. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it on a pole, and it shall come to pass a, that yuri one that is bitten, when he looketh on it shall lo. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it on a pole, and it came to pass a, that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lewed. And the children of Israel set forward, and pitched in a both. And they yearned from a both, and pitched at Yebarim, in the wilderness which is before Moab, toward the sun rising. From thence they removed, and pitched in the valley of Zerd. From thence they removed, and pitched on the other side of Arnon, which is in the wilderness that cometh out of the coasts of the Amorites. For Arnon is the border of Moab, between Moab and the Amorites. Wherefore it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord, what he did in the Red Sea, and in the brooks of Arnon, and at the stream of the brooks that goeth down to the dwelling of Ar, and leeth on the border of Moab. And from thence they went to Beer, that is the well whereof the Lord spake unto Moses, Gather the people together, and I will dew them water. Then Israel sang this song, Spring ye a well, sing ye vento it. The princes digged the well, the nobles of the people digged it, by the direction of the law jewer, with their stars. And from the wilderness they went to Matna, and from Matna to Nahaliel, and from Nahaliel to Bamoth, and from Bamoth in the valley, that is in the country of Moab, to the top of Pisgah, which looketh toward Ishemen. And Israel sent messengers vinto Sehan, king of the Amorites, saying, Let me pass a thor of thy land. We will not turn into the fields, or into the vineyards. We will not drink of the waters of the well. But we will go along by the king's highway, until we be past thy borders. And Sihan would not suffer Israel to pass Athor his border. But Sihan gathered all his people together, and went out against Israel into the wilderness. And he came to Ahaz, and fought against Israel. And Israel smote him with the edge of the sword, and possessed his land from Arnon Vinto Iabach, you and Vinto the children of Ammon. For the border of the children of Ammon was strong. And Israel took all these cities. And Israel dwelt in all the cities of the Amorites, in Heshbon, and in all the villages thereof. For Heshbon was the city of Sihan the king of the Amorites, who had fought against the former king of Moab, and taken all his land out of his hand. You invento Arnon. Wherefore they that speak in Proverbs, say, Come into Heshbon. Let the city of Sihan be built and prepared. For there is a fire gone out of Heshbon, a flame from the city of Sihan, it hath consumed our of Moab, and the lords of the high places of Arnon. Woe to thee, Moab, thou art done, O people of Chemosh, he hath Jew and his sons that escaped, and his daughters, into captivity even to Sihan, king of the Amorites. We how shot at them. Heshbon has perished you in Dibon, and we how laid them waste you in Nopha, which reacheth Vinto Medaba. Thus Israel dwelt in the land of the Amorites. And Moses sent to spy out Iazer, and they took the villages thereof, and drew out the Amorites that were there. And they turned and went Phoebe by the way of Bashan. And Og the king of Bashan went out against them, he, and all his people, to the Batel at Edri. And the Lord said unto Moses, Fear him not, for I have delivered him into thy hand, and all his people, and his land, and thou shalt do to him as thou didst Phinto Sihan king of the Amorites which dwelt at Heshbon. So they smote him and his sons, and all his people, until there was none left him alu, and they possessed his land.